Gamers and game mess, what is going on? My name is Tenek127, and welcome back to another Neverwinter PlayStation 4 video. And today's video, I've got a little special one planned for you guys today. And the reason for that is because um, it's probably going to be my last Neverwinter video for a while. I'm not going to say forever, because I'm sure something will grasp my interest or something will bring me back to this game to play it again eventually. So I don't want to say I'm going to quit it forever but this will probably be the last Neverwinter video y'all see from me for a while we're gonna run some Grey Wolf Den because um that's actually my favorite dungeon in the whole game and the reason for that is because um it's the first three-man dungeon in the game to actually present a challenge when you're um leveling and just running through the story the first you know boss to actually have mechanics do decent damage to you and stuff like that I feel like all the other dungeons before that are just like um are just like uh how can I say it like um like like tank and spanks pretty much not even just dps them down and move around you know just it, it's they're all just so easy but um what I wanted to talk about in this um in this video is just you know my experience with neverwinter what I loved um what I've hated you know what drove me completely nuts what you know made me scream for joy every 5 seconds so um but, you know, before we get into any of that, what I want to say is Neverwinter has been an epic um, experience for me. My um, my opinion of Neverwinter hasn't changed. Um, everything I've said in my Neverwinter PlayStation 4 review still remains the same. I mean every bit of that. Um, to all those who, you know, keep... Um, keep crying that you know that that um that video sounds like a script or you know some some bullshit like that I've explained this a few times now and I'll say it again in this video it's, it wasn't a script I just kept my voice at a very monotone level and so you know so the review would sound pro as professional as possible it was my first big review for like an MMO and a big game and stuff like that and my previous experience with MMOs had went you know pretty shitty you know with the whole Final Fantasy 14 thing which you know had just you know, it's a really dead subject, so I want to try, you know, not, not to touch that as much. But, um, I just, in, in so many words, I wanted to make a good impression for, you know, for an MMO-based, um, fan base. You know, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to leave a positive taste in you guys' mouth, you know, when it came to, when it came to me, you know, and stuff like that. So, you know, so you guys could always see me as, you know, hey, you know, this guy knows what he's talking about. You know, he's new, but, you know, he, he does his digging, you know, he gets his info. I mean, with the way I uncovered... Neverwinter coming out for the PlayStation 4. I would I would assume safely that you guys, you know, realize that by now that you know I do I dig deep with, you know, my research. I um I make sure I do, you know, the things I make sure I do all my work and stuff properly. I'm pretty sure, you know, but with Neverwinter, Skyforge, Paladins, Let It Die. Uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, you guys have get the picture when it comes to me by now. You know, not to sound cocky arrogant or anything but you know I'm, I'm think it's safe to say that you know I'm okay with what I do when it comes you know uncovering game launches and, and shit like that but um so Neverwinter like I said it's been a great experience there's been um, a lot of things I like and I don't like and for the most part I love Neverwinter I think it's a fantastic MMO I would highly recommend it for anyone who you know likes this kind of um setting of, you know, uh, wizards, arcs, you know, anyone who likes, you know, that, that World of Warcraft kind of Diablo kind of feel, Neverwinter is your game for, for sure. Like, ne Neverwinter, I'll, I'll still say it to this day, you know, Neverwinter's, you know, Neverwinter's my, my game, man. Neverwinter's, Neverwinter's awesome. I love this setting, you know, I even, I even like the story, you know, the story's very mediocre to you hit the expansions, but Neverwinter, you know, is just, a, um, it, it, it's, it, it's a whole lot of fun, you know, it was a very different MMO experience for me. You know, it also taught me, you know, that there's, um, there's MMOs that, you know, that are, that aren't so, you know, picky on, you know, how you, how you do things, you know, different classes can do different things, you know, all this. I learned a lot playing this, playing this game, you know, just diving in, diving into something different. And, you know, and, and I say that, you know, with no means of disrespect to Final Fantasy XIV, because I'll say this hands down, Final Fantasy XIV is the best or probably one of the best MMOs out there with with you know with without a doubt and if you if you even doubt that for a second you're you're either crazy or you just haven't played the game but um but this has been you know a pretty um a pretty great experience um the few things that that turned me off when it comes to Neverwinter like I've said in you know a few of my videos now and I'm sure you guys have got the picture um Neverwinter's endgame I feel like it needs some serious um some serious work 
Um, I understand that, you know, every expansion that comes out for Neverwinter is actually the size of, you know, just a basic patch in a normal MMO. But I do feel like, you know, more raid and, um, you know, gear leveling content is needed in this game. They're a bit too heavy on, you know, the, um, the daily quests and stuff like that. Yeah, I understand, you know, do the expansions, do your dailies, get your boons and all that stuff. But I'm so sick of playing expansions over and over that last... 30 days because it has 30 quests that you know have to be done once a day you know to get a boon that's you know gonna boost my HP a little bit or you know give me some extra crit rate or blow when y'all can easily do stuff like that by just raising the gear level and you know putting some improved gear throw some dungeons in give us a currency to farm you know call it call it a day because you know I just um it, it's you know to, to me it should be you know about um about progression you know about you know building yourself up you know for the next piece of for the next piece of content and you know yeah you know the, the boons are great you know the boons are um are good you know they help build you up they get you you know real ready and stuff and stuff for it like that but it's just not you know it uh, i don't i don't even know how to how to um how to say that or you know or or it's or um the best way to the best way to explain it. it's not as you know it's not as appealing like one, the most tedious thing, to my opinion, at least, and, you know, I've heard, seen a few people say this, you know, on, like, Twitter, YouTube comments and stuff like that. One of the most tedious things about um, MMOs is, is questing. So, I would think, you know, Endgame is, you know, usually the heart and soul of MMOs, the meat of it, you know, from what I've seen. You don't want to base your, the meat of your game on the, you know, the thing the players find the most annoying. Like, that, I just feel like, you know, is a really, really really bad thing so you know if, if the developers happen to watch this i encourage you guys you know make your, your next expansion i haven't played um i haven't played the um the new one coming out yet uh mod 11 so you know i'll be definitely trying that when it comes out april 11th but um but if mod 11 is you know just like all these previous mods i'm gonna highly suggest you know taking a um taking a you know a, a new fresh route and the thing is like you don't even have to keep adding epic dungeons you know just add a at a decent, you know, level 70 dungeon that, you know, that required a, I don't know, a gear score of 1,000, 1,500, you know, something that's, you know, not insanely, insanely difficult on, like, a castle, on, like, a castle never, never level or, um, or, uh, um, whatever that, then, um, FBI's level or, or something like that. Just, you know, something really, really, um, really, you know, simple that's fun to run over and over three or four bosses or even, like I said, man, let's get a, let's get, you know, like a, 10, 15, 20 plus person raid, you know, with a, a, a giant dungeon, you know, with four or five bosses in it, you know, let us farm some gear or something, you know, out of that, you know, just, just something, um, something, something different. The, um, and especially, you know, if you're a first timer diving into Neverwinter, especially if you just dive in it on the PS4 version, you're smacked with so many expansions that are based off of nothing but daily quests. It's just, uh, like um if you if you get into if you would have gotten to Neverwinter you know when it first started and you know and you're used to that kind of formula then it's I guess it's you know not too bad but you know once you're um once you you know start it from the from the gate and you have you know nine expansions that are nothing but you know just daily questing to raise your stats slightly that's you know just really really repetitive you know really really boring it's just oh my god I, I, I don't know, like, I know I sound like, you know, I'm crying and, you know, and bitching a lot, but, you know, it, it's just, it's just my opinion. Now, some of you guys, you know, you may like that system. Me, personally, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it straight up, I don't, I don't dislike that system, I hate this system. I can't stand it, I think it's the most annoying fucking thing about this game, and it drives me completely, completely insane. Um, but, never went to though, like I said... And I'll say this again, I've noticed said this a few times in this video now. It's been a great experience. It's been an awesome, very epic um experience. Uh I will say though, one thing that I wish would have happened is I would have I wish I would have gotten more um community and developer interaction. Because um besides, you know, the fans I have on YouTube, subscribers, friends, you know, um I I look at you guys as you know all that. You know, when I say fans, I look at y'all as friends, you know, people because you know, you guys talk to me all the time you know you leave comments on my videos as you guys can see I tried my best to respond to every single comment and even when I hit the point where you know I hit hundreds of thousands of subscribers I will still do my best you know to respond to every comment you know, unless it's something you know hateful or anything like that but you know I try to you know like every comment at least you know leave a heart you know or a thumbs up a smiley face you know just say something to interact with the viewers but like I was saying I wish I had more developer interaction like um two people in the community I will definitely give um I'll definitely give 
props to in Neverwinter. Um, first one is Andy Wong, Strum Slinger. Uh, I want to give him a special thanks for you know always uh, always um, checking out my videos. At least you know at least you know he he recognized me every time you know I popped in on one of his streams, or you know or if I'd watch a community streams or, or something like that. Like one of my videos you know that I made early before I even hit a thousand subscribers. I was, you know, so excited because um, he just said he knew me on a stream. And, you know, I felt like I was being acknowledged by, like, a celebrity or something. It felt great. But um, Strum Slinger and another one is um, Norcross Creative. Uh, I don't know her actual name. But um, she also, uh, she's also, you know, always been, you know, talkative on Twitter Twitter to me. You know, she's always been um, really nice. She watched on um, one of my streams back when I was um, in uh, in Georgia with my brother, you know, doing doing some of the Neverwinter videos and stuff like that. It was a little bit hard for me, you know, to do videos around stuff around that time because it was uh it was a crowded household, you know, it was difficult to find privacy and recording time. But you know, she came the few streams I could do, she came through and watched them and everything. So special shout out to you, Norcross, if you know you happen to watch this video. You and Strum Slinger were uh were great. But yeah, but besides those two, you know, just um recognizing me and talking to me occasionally, I had no developer interaction whatsoever. And that's one thing I do love and appreciate when it comes to um, when it comes to uh, Skyforge and working with you know people like uh like Killshift. I could you know while I'm doing this video, I kid you guys not, I could message Killshift right now and ask him anything about that game. And mind you, he's the community manager. He's a busy ass dude. This dude's been building a brand new Twitter for um for Skyforge for the PS4 from the ground up. You know they're building a whole new community for Skyforge PlayStation 4. And this guy will you know get back to me within the next you know probably hour or so you know I, I literally you know i can talk to him every day you know it's a really you know awesome feeling like i've actually you know even got to speak with you know some um developers you know other people in the, um the community that actually work for my.com alex and stuff like that it's been you know a, a great feeling and this game's not even here yet like um i i just you know i announced the um the council of the gods uh podcast you know that i'm going to be doing for the um for the game and stuff like that starting this may and you know i think um i already think you know kill shift's cool with you know jumping on an episode or so and it's just you know i'm just like wow and i will say the one thing i did differently this time is though i personally you know i didn't wait for the developers to reach out to me i personally you know reached out to them like the second i saw skyforge you know i started hammering that twitter and spamming it over and over and saying Hey, yo, content creator, I want to, you know, I want to um, represent your game. I want to see what it's about. You know, I want to learn more about it, stuff like that. The Twitter pointed me to Killshift immediately. Killshift followed me in a second, and we immediately started, you know, PMing and talking about it and stuff like that. How many Neverwinter um, community people or developers do I have following me on Twitter or that I've even, you know, spoke to on a private basis? None at all. Besides, you know, the teasing hints they, you know, set, sent on Twitter occasionally while we were waiting for, you know, the release information and, and all that stuff. So, I, I don't know, you know, a lot of these other, um, I know every company, you know, has, you know, has, you know, something different, you know, something, so a different way of doing things. But it's just like with Neverwinter and, you know, I'm not saying I deserve anything. I'm not saying, you know, I want anything. But with Neverwinter, I feel like besides, you know, from you guys, you know, as my fans and, you know, people that watch my videos and stuff like that, I got no kind of um, recognition for, you know, whatsoever. I can't, I can't even count, you know, how many different streams and stuff like that I tagged, you know, the developers in, the Neverwinter Twitter in and stuff like that. Not a like, not an acknowledgement or, you know, or, um, or anything. And then when it comes to, you know, the, um, the Skyforge guys, on the other hand. I literally just sent them the link to my Twitch. They retweeted on their thing immediately, just because you know they know that I plan on streaming their game sometimes. And that's you know that's just you know like a, a really a really you know good um good feeling. I just feel like you know um, uh, my dot com, the Skyforge devs and all them, they've been you know so much more open arms with me you know than any other um developer has it. You know I've tried to. I've tried to um to work with, but like I said, like I said before, you know, in all fairness, I um I reached I reached out to you know to these guys, to these guys you know harder you know I pushed you know to um to get to get their attention, but um they still you know came through, and where the hell is this guy at? Like oh my god, okay this dude is about to get seriously kicked man because like, okay who's who's with me? Who is that? 
Phase Lord. Okay, Thor Darren. We got two tanks here. We don't even need two tanks. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're voting to kick you, man. Because, um, let's see here. A, F, K. I hate it when people do that. Come on, Phage Lord. Please, please, you know, please, um, please kick this fool. Please, please, please vote to kick him. Yeah, my man is 7,000 meters. 7,000 fucking meters away. Wow. Phage Lord. Do you know how to use the kick system, bro? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alrighty, so it looks like we're going to be leaving this instance, guys. We're probably just going to do, um... Just run a, run another dungeon while I talk a little bit more. But, like I was saying, I just, you know, I've gotten, you know, a lot more community interaction. A lot more developer interaction. And, um, you know, like, the Discord we have now for Skyforge. I've brought over, you know, between the efforts of, you know, me, Killshift, and, you know, what other... Any other, you know, um influencers community people or whatever you know are in that discord we've brought over you know a hundred people in there within the past month now i know that's not you know a ton because you know mmos are going to have you know thousands of players and stuff like that it's just a small small portion of you know the um of the skyforge community that's in there but it's um it's honestly you know a uh a um a really really awesome awesome feeling you know to have to, to you know that i had some you know impact to, um to to build that you know to make that um to make that become something you know that um that uh you know kill ship actually came to me and said you know hey you know let's help spread the word on this discord and here we are you know five weeks later we have um a hundred plus members in there that's a you know a really 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 amazing really amazing amazing feeling and you know I just feel like you know with no other games nothing else I've covered on my channel you know I've never got that I never got that opportunity with um when it came to Final Fantasy 14 that game is just so massive and and big you know I just I, I never even bothered to, you know to even to even try you know I never tried even reaching out you know to Square Enix or or um or anything like that you know to see if you know they'd um they'd recognize me at all as you know someone who represented their game or anything but now, when I when I tell you guys this, right, there's some things I want y'all to keep in mind. Just because you know I'm um, he he ha ha, you know, Team Skyforge, that doesn't mean I'm ever gonna be you know dishonest with you guys about anything or you know or or stuff like that. There's no like you know just so we're clear, there's no official contract between you know me and my.com or Alex Team or you know Obsidian or you know wh whoever you know all the people that are developed. No, I simply you know favor this game and you know I want to I want to spread the word about it. so you know I'm I'm talking about it on my channel so you know once again you know like Neverwinter when when I do my review for um for you know Skyforge whether it's out you know within the next week or two weeks and when you know I stream it and stuff like that and if I get the opportunity to do a giveaway that's coming from you know my heart my mind my wallet the developers aren't you know supplying me with anything kill shifts not supplying me with anything uh, my.com isn't supplying me with anything I, I didn't get you know emailed codes to give out with people no I gotta you know if I can do a giveaway I gotta run to my local GameStop you know buy a few PSN cards you know to throw on my on my chat stream and stuff like that to hook you guys up with so you know just so we're clear and so you know we know all this now that's all me and if anything does change you know where you know if I um if I do ever do like you know a sponsored video or you know if I'm paid to do something you guys, will, um, I'm, uh, by law, I'm supposed to say that, so, you know, so just so you guys know, you know, you'll never get any kind of, um, dishonesty from me. I think we made that clear in, like, a vlog I did last year, but just in case, you know, all you new guys that, you know, don't know that and stuff like that, you'll never get anything dishonest from me, you know, and if even if, you know, I am, you know, paid to do something, my honest opinion, you know, is still gonna, um, still gonna be there, because the one thing is they... They want you to represent the game on their channel. The thing about um, developers is they also want crucial, crucial feedback. And I think a lot of people, you know, don't understand that sometimes because the only way you're going, they're going to improve their game is if you tell them what's wrong with it. If you're just like, you know, hey, oh my God, you know, you let me play your game for free, so your game's just automatically perfect and does no wrong. 
then you know when the player base gets their hands on it and they do spot the actual problems you're gonna look like a liar you're gonna look like a grade-a dumbass and the developer is gonna be disappointed because they have all these issues when you told them that their game was fucking perfect so you know people gotta you know um watch out for those for those kind of things so you know like i said i personally don't want to ever deal with any shit like that so you know you guys don't have to worry about any dishonest you know bull crap um coming coming from me i just wanted to let you guys know that but um I'm going to go ahead and wrap this commentary up here. I uh, hope you guys in, enjoyed. But like I said, um, there'll still be, you know, Neverwinter streams here and there. I'm not completely giving up on Neverwinter, but I am just going to be, you know, taking a probably a very long um, hiatus from it. If, especially, you know, if I do see improvement of the game, you know, I see it lean more towards, you know, um, a more, uh, I guess, raider friendly direction. Then, you know, I'll definitely um, check it back out and, you know, give it another, um, another look. But like I said, um... Once again, special shout out to uh, Strumslinger, aka Andy Wong, and uh, Norcross Creative. Unfortunately, I don't know her actual name, so uh, I can't really say that on here. But I want to thank you both for always, you know, um, checking out my content, and you know, uh, just um, just you know, being there and giving me, you know, the interaction that you did. I'm grateful, you know, that somebody actually noticed me. And you guys, as viewers, and you know, as all my fans and stuff too, you know, fans, friends, you know, everybody, you know, when you've came through on podcast, um streams all that kind of stuff you know special thanks to all you guys too man you guys without y'all this experience wouldn't be possible and i just hope you know y'all are really looking forward to you know what's coming in the what's coming in the future but um anyway guys y'all enjoyed this video be sure to smash that thumbs up button for me and um, i want to thank you all so much for watching it's your boy tonep 127 please don't forget to like share subscribe and i will see you guys tuesday on the stream peace out guys take care